In this video, we're going to discuss how to use the shortcode manager and how to insert shortcodes throughout your website. Uh, so Karma comes with a built-in shortcode manager and it allows you to easily insert um, over 70 different shortcodes into your site. Um, so it's a really, really powerful tool and we hope you find it useful. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and create a new page. So we just click Pages and Add New. Um, <clears throat> and for the page template, we're just going to choose a full width page template. Um, we're going to give our page a title. And um, <clears throat> then anytime you want to insert a shortcode, you just click wherever you want to insert it. Um, and then you'll notice right here in the uh, default visual editor, there's a new button. And this is the shortcode manager button. So you just click on the button. And it will provide you with a drop down list. Um, and you can choose from over 70 different shortcodes to insert into your page. Uh, so we won't go through every one, but we'll just go through a few of the um, more common shortcodes. So the first set is uh, the column layouts. So if you want to insert columns into your page, you just choose um, whichever columns you want to insert. So we'll just go ahead and insert three columns and choose insert. Um, and you'll, it'll, you'll see that it'll insert all three columns. Um, and then you just, you just add your content uh, in each one of the columns. So we'll just put in some some test content for now just to kind of show you what it looks like. And we're going to publish the page and then we'll view the page and you'll see that it inserts three columns. Um, <clears throat> Alright, we're just going to clear this out and we'll go through a few more. Um, so then we also have the home page layouts. If you watch the home page setup video, um, it covers these home page layouts. So they work the same way. You just choose which one you want and then insert it. Um, we have a lot, we have these ready-made layout elements. Um, so it allows you to easily add different elements to your pages. Um, and they're also separated by the page template. So if you're using a, f a full width template, you would use these first section right here. Um, if you're using a side nav template, uh, you would use these ones down here. Um, so a pretty common one is the four columns plus modern images. So we're just going to choose that and choose insert. And again, it inserts the short codes for you. Um, so you'll see now that it has uh, these image frames and then it also has uh, or all four columns. Um, so we're just going to go ahead. We'll put in some, some uh, filler text for the columns. And then we'll show you how to add in images to the image frames. <clears throat> um, so this is the image frame short code. And there's a couple things that you can provide to it. Uh, you have to give it the image path. So this is the full URL to the image. Um, if you want it to link to, if you want the image to link to another page, you can um, provide it with a full URL to the page. If not, you can just leave it blank. Uh, also, the, the description. This will get added as the alt tag on the image. So if you want to just add some keywords, that'll kind of just help you, uh, you know, help with SEO and things like that. And then the size, you just want to leave the size as is. Um, Okay, so for the image path, um, you just simply click on upload slash insert. And we're just going to choose a file from our library. And we're just going to hit show. <clears throat> and you don't want to actually insert the image through here. You just you just want to copy the, the URL. So you just click on file URL. And that'll generate uh, this right here, which is the full URL to the image. So you just copy that and close the window. And then right here, where it says image path, uh, just in between the quotes, you just want to paste in the uh, full URL that you just copied. So we're just going to go through and do that to all four. And then we're just going to update the page and refresh. And you'll see that we have four columns with image frames. Um, so you can see it's really very, very powerful. Um, we'll just go through a few more of the other, other short codes. Um, let's see, we have the uh, button short codes. Um, so if you want to insert a button, they're all organized by color. So you just choose whichever color you want to insert um, and then hit insert. Um, and then there's a few different settings. Uh, the URL, you just provide the full URL wherever you want that to go. So we'll just have it just go to Google for now. Um, a new feature we added, we've added a target. So you can choose whether um, it opens in the same window or a new window. Uh, so by default, it's underscore self, which will open in the same window. If you want to open in a new window, you would just do underscore blank, and that would open the link in a new window. Um, for the size, 
uh, by default it's small. You can also choose uh, medium or large. So depending on what size button you want, um, you just type in the size right there. Uh, the style, just you can just leave that leave that as is. That'll automatically pull in the style. Um, and then for your the uh, the text for the button, you just type it right here. So whatever you type in there, that's what the button will show. Uh, so we'll update the page and refresh. And you'll see we have our button. And if we click it, it'll open Google in a new window. Um, so again, you know, very powerful. Um, you know, and you can you can insert buttons within columns. So like for instance, if you wanted to have a three column layout, each with each with buttons inside, you can also put short codes within short codes. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and add a three column layout. And then we're just gonna paste the uh, button short code that we just copied. We'll just paste that in there. And then we'll just update the page. And you'll see now we have three columns with our buttons. Um, <clears throat> so you can just kind of mix and match and you know build custom layouts and things like that. Uh, a few other ones that we'll cover. Down at the bottom, there's the uh, testimonials short code. Um, so we'll click on that and insert. Um, and it's pretty self-explanatory. The testimonial goes right here, right in the testimonial tag. And then the client's name goes right in here. Um, and now the only thing with the testimonial slider is you just have to activate it in the site options panel. Um, so we'll update the page. And um, look, if we refresh, it won't look 100% correct. You'll see that it's just stacked up. Um, that's because we have to activate the JavaScript. Uh, so to do so, you just simply click on Appearance and Site Options, and then JavaScript Settings. And you just have to check this box to enable the slider. Um, the second box is if you want the slider to pause when someone hovers over it. So if they leave their mouse over the slider, it will stay paused until they move the mouse. So if you want that feature, you just check the box. Um, and then the, the time, um, this is how long each slide stays on before it switches to the next one. Uh, the time is in milliseconds, so 8,000 equals 8 seconds. Um, so you would just adjust that time based on your needs. Um, and then save changes. And if we come here and refresh, you'll see that it, it now uh, goes into the slider format. Um, so that's about it for the short codes. Um, you know, you can kind of go in there and play around and kind of get more comfortable with everything. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope this is helpful and uh, please stay tuned for more instructional videos.